Todd. And I'm Amy. And welcome back to Creative Side DIY. Where every dollar we make goes towards paying our daycare bill. That's right. So on uh, today's episode, we have a cool hutch that we found. And um, we just want to talk a little bit about our process. So we kind of split up duties a little bit. I work more on the finding the piece side. And then I'll come up with the design, what we want to do to that piece, how it might look its best. Yeah, and Amy's definitely a better painter than I am, so she does a lot of the painting. <laughs> um, but we both tackle it together, so I do a lot of the sanding and things like that. What I look for when I'm looking on Facebook Marketplace is uh, I try to find out, first of all, where has the piece been? And so has it been in a home that has had smoke or you know, something like that, then I try to avoid those pieces because you can really never get that smell out and that's unattractive to buyers. So the other thing I look for is what is the working condition of the piece? Do the drawers work? Uh, if it has drawers, uh, are there watermarks on the top of it? Is there any damaged chipped wood anywhere? So those are some of the big things to look for. And uh, we got really lucky with this piece. Yeah. And I would add another big thing is the hardware, because if you want to keep the original hardware and it's missing hardware, that can be really difficult. Um, if you're planning to change the hardware anyways, I mean, no big deal. But Yeah, and whenever you find a piece, if it's listed for more than you want to pay, offer what you want to pay. Sometimes people will just take it because they're ready to get rid of it. Um, we found a piece this week. It was actually a set. And it was listed for $700 and I saw it, I saved it on Marketplace. And then a few days later, she marked it free. <laughs> so a lot of times what you're offering is a moving service for someone to clear out their space. And that was the situation with this uh, person. They were moving to a new house and they needed their bedroom cleared out. So they were getting rid of this complete full set, which we got for free. So that was awesome. So offer what what you can pay and you never know, you might get it. And on the flip side of that, another thing that's really helped us sell is delivery. The fact that we have a truck and that Todd can bring things to people um, has allowed people who wouldn't have been able to purchase our items, get them. And then we also get an extra delivery fee on top of that. Yeah, I would say the majority of our orders have actually ended up being delivered. But uh, we've also had people come to us that didn't want the delivery fee, didn't want the extra charge. So we get, um, you get people coming to you like that. So if you don't have a truck or a way to move furniture like that, then you can still sell things and people will still come to you to pick it up. You just, you know, do your good work and people will want to buy what you have. So the hutch that we are working on in this video was only $45 and, and it was in amazing shape. I don't know what these people had been doing with this hutch, but it was clean it had no chips it had no damage anywhere the drawers worked the uh doors worked i mean it was amazing so and it was beautiful so we knew we didn't want to totally repaint the entire thing um but it also had these really really old-fashioned sliding glass doors that we knew we had to get rid of yeah, so you'll see that part in the video of us taking out the glass and also check out this cool flip. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And also hit the notification bell to make sure that you get notified when we release a new episode. All right guys, so we've got this beautiful little hutch here. We've taken the drawers out. We're gonna leave the drawers like they are with the wood fronts. We're sanding everything else down and painting it, um, but we're removing the glass. So <laughs> we thought worst case scenario, we'll break the glass, but I'm trying to figure out how to remove this glass without having to break the glass. So I've been searching online and I haven't found anything like this hutch that has the the glass is actually grooved and you can see down here see the grooves and then the glass will 
uh, slide if I can get it to slide. Push my hands up. Just, there we go. We'll slide through like that. And you can see it's even grooved at the top. So slides in that groove. No matter how much you wiggle, I'm pulling here. And there's no room for it to move. Apparently there is a screw on the inside holding a stop up. So supposedly if we get the screws undone, they will, the doors will come out. So there's just a couple of screws on this side and a couple of screws on that side on the inside. Is there, is there a screw in the center? I don't know. Yep. <laughs> Before doing this, I was YouTubing videos on how to safely break glass. <laughs> Which looked like a lot of fun. I kind of still want to do it. But I guess this is probably better. Voila! Hallelujah. We're doing a light scuff sanding on this all over with a 220 to get that glossy finish off so the paint will stick. And then I am taping up where we do not want to paint so we can save some of that wood. Definitely don't want to get those dust particles in your paint. For this project, we're using the Dixie Bell Silk Mineral All-in-One Paint um, in the color Anchor, which is a black. Um, and we picked it because it, number one, looks like it's going to be a really cool black. But it is a built-in primer, built-in top coat, um, and it says we only have to scuff sand, so it should make it a lot easier, a lot less steps. Um, this is the first time we're trying it, so we'll see how it goes. Well. So it is going on a little bit blue. Hopefully it'll dry a little bit more of a pure black, but it's beautiful and going on really nicely. It is raining. We had to quickly move this inside because it started sprinkling outside and we're working on another project at the same time and it was taking up the area where we normally paint. So um, we quickly moved this in because we didn't want to mess up the paint from the rain outside obviously. One of the keys to getting a really smooth finish is following the same pattern, so going in the same direction with your brush.
we forgot the tape underneath this shelf. So Amy is going there now and putting in some more tape uh, to make sure that we don't get any paint on the shelf. We couldn't really decide whether the bottom of the shelf should be painted or not. So we're gonna tape it now and not paint it because once you paint it, you can't go back, right? So we're gonna leave it without paint and see how it turns out. If we don't like it, we'll add paint to it. Okay guys, so on Saturday, I picked up this awesome French Provincial set and I'm gonna show it to you. The first piece is this tall dresser here and wait, there is more. This long dresser here, but wait, there is more. This nightstand here with a twin. Yes, two. And then she even, the person I bought it from, threw in the headboard, matching headboard. So that entire set, you are absolutely not gonna believe what I paid for it. So check out the next episode to see what I paid for it. Uh, but also we need your help. We have no idea what color we wanna paint it. We've talked about a few ideas and we have some suggestions, but we wanna see what you think. So in the comments below, please type the color that you think we should paint this, okay? Whatever color you think it would look best. I wanna know what you think. So you can maybe help us out in picking the color that we wanna paint this whole set. We let that dry overnight and in the morning it's time for the second coat. Here I'm spray painting all of the hardware. We are using the Rust-Oleum Pure Gold and this is an easy process. Just spray in smooth strokes so that you don't get a puddle of paint in one spot. the tape off I can see a couple places that need to be touched up but the tape is gone so in order to not make a giant mess I'm just going to slide this piece of paper up on the edge that I don't want to paint while I do the touch up. These screws aren't really wanting to go in so it's, it's a Phillips head but the, um, the top of the fillets is really, really flat, so I'm actually going to use a flat screwdriver instead because it'll just work a little bit better. Slightly strips. Normally I do this on my drill, but because of that I'm using a regular screwdriver. So the screws on these outside doors, they're uh, super small and I had to get like, I'm using like a jewelry sized um, flat screwdriver to turn the heads. You want to be super careful to not mess up the paint on this part. So Amy's going to hold the door from the outside while I try to screw it in, while we try not to nick up the paint or anything like that or cause me. And of course with the small screw head, it's going to take a little bit more time, so this may be a painstaking process, but hopefully not too bad. Ta-da! 
I hope you enjoyed watching us flip this piece. So I'm going to give you a rundown on it. We bought the piece for $45. And then we spent $25 on a silk mineral all-in-one paint, which was awesome. Um, it went on beautifully. It was a dark color, so we didn't have to prime. It says it's a top coat, so we're trusting that we didn't top coat it. So it was really all-in-one for us, and it looks beautiful i think yep so we're all in 60 bucks on this piece and we've got it listed for 400 dollars. and we haven't found a buyer for it yet but we projected that this one might take a little bit longer to sell it is a hutch it's not a dresser dressers are what have really been our best seller uh we list those and they're gone within a couple of days um but the hutches take a little bit more time you're looking for someone who needs something for a dining room space or some unique space in their home and so we're we're still waiting for our buyer for this one. So we're, we're sticking there at 400 on this one for now. And uh, we'll see how it turns out. Be sure to catch a future episode to see what our profit is. We'll update you on, on this piece as soon as we get a, a sell on it. And if you enjoyed our video today, make sure to like this video. Uh, but also, it really helps us out if you subscribe to our channel and then hit the notification bell to make sure that you get to see all of our future videos as they are published. Mama, and then it said Berkeley, and they send us this, this Mimi to Chloe and Tiana. <laughs>